Good morning, modern steaders. It's snowing out. See the snow falling? <laughs> Might be too dark this morning to see inside the chicken coop. What are you guys up to? Yeah, I can see a little bit. out this morning and get a few things done. Hopefully the roads aren't too bad. There, we're done. Ran to the post office, now we can go back to the homestead. So different when there's snow on the ground. You ready to go out? I think we're gonna need this again this morning. Not sure how safe this is, but I need an extra set of hands. Well, it was so warm yesterday and then it got to freezing temps last night. I'm wondering if the door to New York City is going to be frozen shut. That's what we got the axe for. We've been getting a lot of questions lately again about our wood burning stove and how we set up our house with the wood burning stove. So after we feed the chickens of New York City, we'll go back in the basement and we'll talk about our wood stove and how we designed the house. Girls don't want to come out in the snow, do you? I don't blame you. Well, the chickens don't want to come out today. Looks like we got one egg in the nest box so far. All oh, that little bit of that little bit of snow, the chickens don't want to stand on it. Willow seems to be awful talkative this morning. She's flattened over there pretty good. I think I better go get the buck bomb, take it out, and see what she does. Maybe she's in heat. I'm gonna have to go find out. Tree looks nice. I think that's Willow making all that noise. And she's usually not that talkative. If you're new to the channel, let me take a second to explain. Willow is our oldest goat that we are milking right there. I brought her on December 1st to the breeder so she could meet the buck and go on her first date so she could hopefully get pregnant. And we're hoping she's pregnant, but I don't know. She could be back in heat today. And if she is, that means I gotta bring her back to the breeder to go on another date with the buck. So I need to keep an eye on her right now and see if she's in heat or hopefully she's pregnant. Not sure. You seem talkative, but you don't, Willow. What's that mean? Huh? Got the buck bomb right here. <laughs> she don't want nothing to do with it. What do you think about the smell? I guess I'll keep an eye on her and keep testing her with the buck bomb. She's extra talkative, but that's it today. I don't know, guys. 
Well, hopefully you're pregnant and you're not in heat, Willow. I'll keep an eye on you. Let's go. Come on. While we're outside, let's talk chimney, chimney design, chimney placement, and why we put it where we put it. We have an eight inch round metal bestest stainless steel triple wall chimney. There's a few things we did. We have a six inch overhang on our eave. A lot of people will do a foot overhang. We had the shell of our house built for us. What I mean by that is the outside walls the sheathing on the outside walls. We had the roof trusses put on. They plywooded the trusses, they strapped the trusses, and then they put the tin on. So while I was planning with them, we had to figure out what size eave we wanted. So our eave sticks out past the house six inches. We could have done a foot, but if we did a foot, we would have had to have our pipe off the house a foot. And to do the six inches, I had to make a small spacer block. That would have been even bigger if we went with a six inch wider eave overhang. There's a couple of different reasons I wanted my chimney outside and there's a few pros and cons for that. I wanted it on the outside because we have a metal roof and I didn't want to have to go through my metal roof. I've never found a good way to flash a metal roof and I didn't want water leaking in and dripping in around our chimney. So we stuck it on the side. Another nice thing about a metal best this chimney is it's a DIY chimney kit you can do very easily with the minimal tools. Another nice benefit of having the metal bestest chimney on the outside in the side of your house is we can clean it out here, keep the mess outside, and we don't have to climb our roof to clean our chimney. Let's go inside and we'll talk about the stove. We have a lot of comments all the time asking why is our wood stove in our basement and not up in the living area couple of reasons of that. We have it in our basement right near our door. It's easy to get the wood in and out. We can bring a wheelbarrow through our door. We can drag our sled with wood in it through the door and we keep the mess in the basement. If you have your wood stove in your living areas of your house, you're bringing the wood in. When you're cleaning your wood stove, you got the wood ash mess upstairs in your house. It's a little bit more messier. In our basement, it's easier to contain that mess. The reasons we chose this wood stove is it's big enough to heat the square footage of our house. It'll heat our basement and it'll heat the living area upstairs. The other nice part about having our wood stove in the basement, we have a heated basement. So we get extra living area that's heated and it's not costing us any more money to heat it. The stove that we have is a DS Energy Max 160. They also make a 110, which is a smaller version. The stove heats through natural convection, so there's pipes right here. Let me get a flashlight. Grab my headlamp. Put the headlamp on and down here. Let's see if we can see that now. Go in a little bit more. There we go. And these pipes go right to the bottom. They're open right to the floor down below. That allows our wood stove to heat our house through natural convection using no electricity. That's another reason why we chose the stove is we can heat the whole house, 3,000 square feet, no electricity. So if we lose power during the winter, we don't gotta worry about not having heat in our house. How the natural convection works is it sucks the cold air down low on the floor and since hot air rises, takes the cold air, heats it up, and it, as it's warming, it's pulling it up, and then it's just flowing through the house, going upstairs. So hot air rises up the stairs. I have floor vents cut in a couple of locations with drop boxes, so this helps the cold air drop. If I put my hand here, I can feel the cold air falling. So the hot air goes up, the cold air falls through those vents, drops back down. So it's just doing a big circular motion of hot air, cold air, and circulating it through the house without a fan blowing. I like to keep this dust bunny up on the rafter. It's kind of neat, you can look at it and see it's moving. 
Uh, it's showing that the air is moving in the basement and circulating. I also cut a floor vent right here and I didn't put a drop box on it. I'll bring you upstairs and show you where that goes. So this one goes in our bathroom and it lets hot air rise and I made towel hangers so we can hang our wet towels right here and the heat from the wood stove will rise and it dries the towels off. Pros and cons, our bedrooms are right above here. I don't have vents cut in but our bedrooms stay hotter than the living room. We like cold bedrooms, so our bedrooms sometimes in the wintertime can get a little hot for us, and the living room stays a couple of degrees colder, but on average the living room is 70 degrees. If we could flop the house design around and have the living room on this side and the bedrooms on that side, that'd be ideal for us. The other way you could do it with the chimney, let me see if I can get out here and get a better visual of the peak of the roof. So the other thing you could do is if you had your chimney in your house, you could go up the center of the peak, of the ridge of your roof, and you could put a box, and then you, you wouldn't be going through the tin of your roof. You'd have a box and it'd be all flashed around it right in the peak, and then you could have your wood stove in your basement anywhere in the center. The only downfall about that is you'd either have to get on your roof to clean your chimney, or you'd have to do it in your basement and have the mess in the basement. So that's another reason why I did the chimney here is I was thinking when I get older I don't want to have to get on my roof to clean my chimney. I want to be able to do it from the ground and not make a mess in the house. Out of all the new wood stoves that I could find on the market this is the only wood stove that had the natural convection pipes drilled into it. I haven't seen that on any other stove. If there is leave it in the comments down below. It would be kind of neat to research it and see the difference. But we've had really good luck. This is our fourth third winter with this wood stove heats the house nice when it gets to say negative 20 negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit outside keeps the house warm but we can't get it above 70 upstairs another nice feature is it's got a big firebox so if you're gone for say 8 10 12 day you load, load the firebox up it'll stay going all day long we have a fan right here. This was given to us by a friend and viewer. The fan runs off of the heat of the wood stove. When it's not hot, that fan doesn't run. It doesn't use electricity. Another nice reason for having it in the basement is I can store two weeks worth of firewood down here easily. And if I wanted to or needed to, I could store a month's worth of firewood down here. Keep it inside, it's right next to the stove. When you need to load your stove up, it's just two steps from here to the door. If you know it's gonna be nasty weather, if you wanna stock up with your firewood, you can. If you don't have the time, you bring a firewood in all the time, you can stock up once a week, once every other week, once a month on a weekend when you have the time. If you think you're going to be sick or you got to go away, you can have a good supply of firewood right here. That wind is picking up. Check up Willow again and see if she's in heat. Her tail wasn't flagging at all today, so I don't think she is. You need to be straight. You need to be straight. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, to be a kid again. You coming? That was fun. So she's still talkative, but her tail's not wagging, so she's not flagging, as they call it. Have to check her again tomorrow, because if she starts flagging her tail, I'm going to bring it to the breeder. She's awful talkative today, Livies. So I don't know if that means she's going to go into heat or not. I'm going to get out the buck bomb again and see if 
Willa reacts the same way. She knows what I'm doing, so she's staying away. I think she smells it already. See? She's still running. Hey girl, you look like a bear cup stuck in a tree. Pluto traced, chased him up the tree. You're hiding from it, Willow. You're hiding from it. <laughs> she wants nothing to do with the buck bomb. Oh, I have no idea what that means. Or she's gonna start running from me if I chase her. <laughs> See? She's like, I want nothing to do with that. Get out of here. You gotta get down so I can get you your hay out. They all want that side, I guess. They all think that side of the hay is better. What's that? I said, I guess they all think that that side of the hay is better. Yeah. Hey, bro, what you doing? So if you know what that means with Willow running away from the buck bomb like that, leave it in the comments down below. Oh, I guess I'm going to try it again tomorrow and see what happens if she starts wagging her tail. Put her in the back of the truck and we'll bring her on another date. How many eggs do you think? I don't know. You don't know? Me neither. <laughs> I'll say five. None. But there was one in there. Oh, how many? One, two, three, four. Five. Huh? Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four, oh. five. Didn't you didn't see that one? It's getting chilly out. Yeah. Looks like there's another snowstorm blowing in. I'm glad we're finishing up the chores and getting back in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Come blow it out. Means you too. Oh. Figure who's chasing us. <laughs> but I saw him, so he stopped. Figaro's hunting us. He doesn't want us to see him. Some pork chops from the pigs we raised this summer that we butchered too. So everything right here done on the homestead.
Well guys, I really don't know what was up with Willow today. She was just in a odd mood. She was very moody. She was blatty. More talkative than normal, but she wanted nothing to do with the buck bomb. I don't know if that means she's going to be in heat tomorrow. And if she is, we'll have to try to figure it out and get her down back to the farm that has the buck. Bring her another date. I don't know. I guess we'll wake up tomorrow and we'll see. I'll bring you guys along with us for that, and thanks for coming along on our journey with us as we build our farm life here at Lumna Acres, and we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. Fingers crossed.